people are pretty enough, they don't really have to work in life. Yeah, it's called pretty privilege. That's what this shade has. To be careful not to drool on my nails. I have to say, this was such a fun collection to formulate. So when I say fun, I mean incredibly time consuming and challenging. Sign those NDAs. If they are not signed by this time tomorrow, I will take you all to court. Hello, is anyone there? You can barely see me. Why can't you see me? What's wrong with your computer? Is your computer broken again? You should really get that fixed. What's wrong with it now? It's pink. Um, that's not my responsibility, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, I don't have my tea yet because Ben is getting it and he's late. He's late for his nail appointment because the first thing I'm gonna do is actually Ben's nails. Surprise! So anyways, welcome to another Swatch with Simply. Today we are swatching the next Hollow Taco collection. Spoiler alert, Hollow Taco is releasing another collection. The next one's for my birthday launch. So if you recall, every year since its inception, except the first year, because that was just a whirlwind, but every year after that, we did a birthday launch that was themed around my birthday where I had a special polish. This year's gonna look a little different. The launch always lands in the month of October. I have to work in advance because project management and timelines. Shout out to all the project managers out there. Ben is here with my tea. Don't you think we'd be better off without no. project managers? No. Because then you just have no deadline. We're gonna mic you up. This might be a mistake. Well, look at this seat she gave me. Look at this seat. This is what you want me to see. Sit, on. Sit on your stool, Ben, you <laughs> little toad. Let's do some prep. Wow, very dry. Um, I'm just gonna moisturize with our hand cream because it kind of mattifies. So can I get you just to rub that in? You can't do it? No. What are these cuticles, Ben? What do you want for your birthday? I just want tea every day for the rest of the year. I guess Avril Lavigne was your birthday present. Is that what that was? I guess so. I'm off the hook. There's still nail polish on this nail, Ben. Is that some dark academia? Men can wear nail polish too. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying you didn't take it off properly. That's not nail polish, that's my skin. Yeah, this this part is your cuticle, which is just growing up like a fucking yeah, vine that's, that's tree. That's what cuticles do. The reason why I'm kind of doing it, although I'm, he's not gonna let me do all of it, because he's just gonna get impatient in about 60 seconds from now and say, are we painting yet? Is because you can really see it when I do macro photos. Don't shame me. People have cuticles. You know this, it's right? It's not. There's just like <laughs> dusties up your nail. No, that actually, these nails are dusty. That actually you can see Use through. a different nail. I prefer my middle finger. All right. It's more aesthetic. Whatever. Are we painting yet? Or? I have to nail oil this. I'm going to get you to wash your hands after. But oh, I don't. It's just too. Um, you know I don't like washing my hands. Okay. Claire, Which I'm color are we going to do? You know the one. This one. Is that mine? Well, you wish. Want a base coat or no? No. He never wants a base coat. Don't. Listen to Ben. I know this is annoying, but this is so this light isn't in my eye. Look like a pirate. I hate those movies. Okay. Worse than Shrek. What? I thought it would be bluer. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> that looks really good, right? While we wait, I'm gonna paint the other hand, the other, the other hands, the other nails. I like this one. I think it's my favorite. It's gonna win. What do you mean win? It's I don't know. I can't. I can't. <laughs> what can I say about this? Nothing at Nothing. all. Nothing. Okay, never mind. I think this one's gonna win. Wiggle waggle. There you go. Okay, too much. And are we done yet? Stop. I need to, I feel like you're stressing me out. I want to go Stop. To the circus. Stop. This is serious. It's a glossy talk. Your next pose is going to be over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't my first rodeo. Just checking. I, I don't know if the talent needed to be reminded of how this works in my studio, you know? But this is our sunlight, which is doing its job. You're just a little bit underlit from here, so. I'm blind. Stop looking. Can you hold a bottle there? No. Uh, okay, just put it down. No. No, stop messing around. And I like to glossy taco and then shoot immediately because I don't want to nick my nail or Ben's nails on it. Thing, trying to do setup. I'm also I'm gonna, gonna grab my phone and give you an extra flash perfect. That looks stunning. We don't need to do any work because the polish is just so pretty. If people are pretty enough, they don't really have to work in life. Yeah, it's called pretty privilege. That's what this shade has. Damn! Pretty privilege is a good shade. It is a good shade, man. I'm losing my grip. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty pretty. Mm -hmm. I'll try and show chat here. I don't know if you can see this. I can't see that. You can't see that? Why can't you see that? That barely needs color correction. Yeah, you're right. That bottle, you can really tell there. They're claiming they can see the color. I don't know if you can trust your computers. I hear they're all broken. How could I forget the piece de resistance? Prop modeling. Pick out some that match. I can't hold a bunch of gems. Yeah, just pick one or two. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like dancing with it. <laughs> What do you think? 
That's a picture. All right, I'm gonna go. Okay. Thank you, Ben. Do you want to mute and take off your mic? No, they can just listen to me upstairs. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Ben. There's a disturbance in the forest. Okay, what am I doing? I'm painting on Peely Base because I'm gonna peel off my nails. That's how I swatch. Peel off your nail polish, guys. When I'm swatching, I need Peely Base so I can peel it off, and then I usually put on one of the smoothing bases, whether OG or pink, doesn't really matter for these shades. But I like to do both because then the smoothing base helps even out any ridging, and I do have ridgy nails, especially when I'm heavy, deep into swatching. Okay, what shade should I swatch next? Ooh, I haven't decided. Hmm. I think I'll do this one. But I might need a backlight to get some of the pigments. How many shades do you think you're releasing? Do you think we are releasing, not you're releasing? Are you releasing something? What's going on? Okay, ready? Now we paint. Detectives know. What are you guys guessing? 12, 10, 8. What if I told you that it was the biggest collection we've ever released? I have to say, this was such a fun collection to formulate because no polish is the same formula. So when I say fun, I mean incredibly time consuming and challenging for our product developers. So shout out to them. But it's all going to be worth it when you see them all and you'll be like, oh my Lord Jesus, Christine with no H, what have you done? I love you so much. And I will say, I know. <laughs> All right, I'm going in with the second coat of this absolutely stunning shade. And I think I'm only gonna need two coats for this one. There are too many pigments in this, which makes it harder to photograph because then you have to decide like what type of lighting you're gonna use. So you want spotlight for hollow, you want diffused light for iridescent shimmer or iridescent flakes. And sometimes they conflict with each other if you're trying to show the same, like two different pigments in the same shot. There's also the balance of what type of refractions or reflections are you getting from your surroundings? Because otherwise I'm gonna get these white casts on the nail, which is fine maybe if I'm shooting like a frosted metal or something where I like, I kind of want that white cast to show you that iridescence or reflectiveness. But with hollow or a glitter, it just ends up making it look flat and dull and it takes away the rainbows. So I put on two coats. I'm just gonna take a quick analysis and say, yep, don't need a third coat for this one. Before we glossy toggle, we're gonna make sure the shot is flawless. With this shade, I am predicting the need for white bounce only where I say so, which is right here. I need more paper towel. Don't mind me, the paper towel professional. Looks like I'm making like a bed. Yeah, see that's gonna work better. And it's interesting, cause I'm actually kind of seeing the camera in this nail. And now we're ready to glossy taco. Concentration time. Even though I'm not filming like this part, I already filmed the macro application swatches. I don't like to talk, cause I want that perfect coat. I'm like a serious athlete, okay? Don't talk to me before the game. Shouts out to all of our swatchers who are probably done. I'm just a little late, but it's fine. Everyone be quiet. Gonna lick the bottle. Don't worry, I won't ship you this one. Just to clean the front of it from my thingy prints. I'm a little too dark. I think and now I'm gonna add an extra iPhone flash, like the true professional I am. If I have a little, what's called a shutter release, it's basically a remote control that will set the camera off. Okay, that's a good shot. Yeah. Will the new collection be limited? Um, maybe, we'll see. Depends if you guys buy it. There are no guarantees in length, not even Holo Taco releases. Okay, I think this is it. This is a really good shot. This is a very complicated formula too. One hint that I will give you is that the majority don't fall into like a very clean cut category. So RIP to your spreadsheets and categorization. We're gonna fuck shit up even harder <laughs> with the next release. But that makes it really exciting, I think. I think it makes everything super unique. There's other collections upcoming where you have that like return to the uniform formula category but in different colors. We're gonna do the hero shot, which is the four finger shot. Do you wanna see? Maybe you, you can see, I don't know. First, I'm just gonna put my camera in the right spot, and then I'm gonna do a quick video. Take my little iPhone just to give the bottle. Ooh, see, see, bottle, no, no flash. Bottle, ooh, okay. And this one in the shade is when you really see the pigments come through, I think. It also looks fucking stunning in the sun and the light, but like to get the depth of all the pigments, I think you gotta look at it in the, this is a unique one. This is a shade for unique people. Okay, now I'm gonna do the shade name. 
Can you read? You don't know how to read. Good, thank God. And now we put it in a box, a carton, a unicarton. Shh, don't tell anyone. You can't see this. Ben will yell at me. Can't have that. Chris, this is so spooky. What, what are you scared? Is there a ghost behind me? <laughs> yes, it's time to hold rocks. Ready? That is very sparkly. It's not the right color, but it's close enough. It's the closest I could find from these child gemstones on Amazon. I think we got the shot. The peelies have been peeled, and now we acetone the edges. There's a little bit of remnant. Because it's a darker shade too, so I gotta like make sure, eh? Will glow in the dark be coming back? Yes. Glow in the dark taco and cracked taco shell. Cracked taco shell. Just making sure you heard me. Um, are coming back for October. <laughs> Next shade, should we swatch my shade? My birthday shade? I mean, they're all my birthday shade, but my birthday shade, yeah? Let's do that. Don't tell anyone. Be very careful to not tell anyone. Sign those NDAs. Let me see them, let me see them. When I put my head up, I wanna see the chat full of NDAs. If they are not signed by this time tomorrow, I will take you all to court. She's actually quite different than all my past birthday shades. When I put them all in a row, I should do that. I should line them all up. What do we have? Who remembers? First birthday shade, got cake. Then it was existential crisis. Then it was double dare. Then it was cool cat mom. And this year it is two words. First word, it's very obvious. Second word, starts with the same letter as first word. That's all you're getting. First coat. Let me see, Simply Savage, October Opal, Simply Sassy, Birthday Beach, Opal Oblivion, Simply Smash, Birthday Blast, Raspberry Ripple, Simply Stone, Christine's Cake. Some of these guesses are really good, but they're incorrect, but they're really good. Bring back Cool Cat Mom? Well, you'll just have to see what Hall of Royalty decided to vote to bring back that'll come back in stock later this year. Did they make the right choice? I don't know. We'll find out during the next 12 days of Christmas. I need to pick out some stones that match. Now this one did like not have matching stones. They were just not the right level of saturation, but that's fine. I did buy this, this like giant thing of gems. There's definitely more color diversity in here, but I actually ended up not liking this prop idea. Like the real cubic zirconia stones that I bought, they look beautiful. They look like diamonds. Like they look like the clarity in the cut is more see-through. Even these fig gems actually look pretty good. But those flat backs just like look more like there's hot glue in them. You can really tell when it's an up close macro shot. Second coat. I think I'm gonna put this in the frosted metal category, but I also think people kind of misunderstand that term. My fault, my fault. So frosted metals are a very unique type of formula. I define it as having a specific type of shiny silver or another similar color reflective pigment that has to be able to refract light and dense enough so that you you are gonna see a little bit of reflection. Not, not like a mirror, that's like more chrome. If you put other pigments in them, then you're gonna start to pick up on like holographic things or iridescent things. If you put frosted metals in a darker jelly base, then you're gonna have more contrast between the, in theory, very light silver flake to give it that bright, metal refraction. So frosted metals are kind of a unique thing like that, that no shade is gonna look exactly like another shade. It's too unique of a pigment that really kind of changes how it looks depending on everything it's mixed with. This collection will have so many formula disputes. You guys are gonna get in so many arguments. Like you should get a lawyer. Where's Andrea C, the lawyer trainee when we need her? I think people are too close-minded about categorizing formulas, you know what I mean? I think we need to like deconstruct it and that sometimes the formulas are just a social construction, you know what I mean? That we always wanna put polishes into little boxes, but maybe that's not how we should be looking at them. I would prefer to not force everything in a super uniform box and just have the freedom to explore hybrids and yeah, it's kind of a this formula, but like not exactly. This one I'm gonna do three coats. I mean, it's perfect in two, but I am seeing a bit of translucence in the jelly, which you might like. Some people probably prefer being quiet because I'm putting on a glossy taco. Oh fuck, she's so pretty. Be careful not to drool on my nails. 
going to want that in the shot. That would not be very good photography. That would be very hard to Photoshop out. Turn on my flash. And everyone, shut up. Quiet on set. Lick the bottle. Wipe it off on my clothes. You know how it goes. Hug the lamp. There's no way any footage that I get today is going to do justice to this shade. I'm just saying, like, I look at it in real life and I'm like, wow. And then I look at it on the camera and I'm just like, camera does not know how to capture the It never does. So I think I want to try one more thing. I think if I take very carefully, very careful, everyone. Careful. See, this is black, but it's white on the other side. And I just put it here. Yeah, let's try that. Just giving it one more white bounce area. Teaser, 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 woo, woo. What of my birthday shades haven't had hollow? Every single one of my birthday shades has had hollow. Can't have a birthday without hollow, silly. We're posing. That's too bright. Fuck. Just right. Good job, everyone. Teamwork. Okay. Simply, are all of the first words of the shade names obvious? No. That would have been boring. Okay, the polish looks good, but now the logo is a little blown out, so. There we go. Woo! Okay. That's better. It's actually not bad for a Frosted Metals pick. I'm gonna composite a couple things. Now I do the thumbless. Thumbless. We chop off the thumb. Roll video. Rolling video on set. I like how I say this. I'm speaking to nobody. Quiet on set. Damn. She's a sexy bitch. This shade looks like that song. You know that song with David Guetta? Damn, she's a sexy bitch. Remember that? Millennials? Hello? I used to request that song all the time when I went clubbing. Don't tell anyone. Pretty shiny. Actually, that was not in focus. Do that again. This is a good pose. I guess the angle of my nails is slightly different than in the other shots. So this one's actually looking better in terms of showing the kind of refraction of the pigment. Okay, that's good for that. I'm gonna take a picture of this one. because This is my birthday shade, so I will want this with the box. Ready? Damn, he's a sexy bitch. What is Christine's favorite colors? Uh, the answer is hollow. Manchi. Hi, sweetie. Do you want to come up? Good girl. Hi, little baby. No, 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 no. You can't step on set. We're in the middle of a shoot, but you're so cute. She knows. Let me just do my floating hand shot. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to elbow you, sweetie. Damn, this one is so nice, like contrasted with the black background. Hey, excuse me, miss. Oh, I can't keep petting you. There's hair flying everywhere in the shot. Okay, now I'm gonna get an up close shot of my thumb. Excuse me, miss. That's not where you're gonna go. No, you're gonna go behind me. There's literally a munchie hair. How'd that guy there? I wonder, this little devil. Hey, 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 she made that one blurry. Menchie, can I help you, sweet potato? Why, no. Why does she wanna go on set? You were last year, sit down. <laughs> Manchi, she's purring. I don't think you can hear it. Eight, not a sweet potato. She's being a potato salad, which means she's being annoying and kind of chaotic. Okay, did I get them all? Did I get all the shots? So I got some extra bonus carton shots. I didn't do those with every shade, but the, my birthday one I will. See y'all later, bye. But I gotta walk over to the computer. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, she old. She, see, it is my birthday. Bye.